Sean Patman here and Rob Black. Just uh, having a look at his layout out here, and thanks very much for your time, Rob. Now, would you mind um, just explaining to us what we're looking at? Well, this is this is a uh, this is a Patman drop box uh, with a timer on it. Um, I'm using this in a uh, approximately five hectare down the slope field with a pontoon at the top. The pontoon distributes the water to the 40 beds and uh, from there it takes about six to seven hours. This one, this length about 700 metres will go through in seven hours. Um, the reason for that is I'm, I'm putting half as much water again than a 63 mil siphon will will go down a drain, down a furrow. So, so I'm using somewhere near um, 400,000 litres per day down each furrow. So in seven hours, um, I'm getting full coverage across the bay. Yep. And uh, I have tail water. Uh, the recycle pump will bring that back here and increase the flow of fraction. But yep. it it uh, to me. It, it, it's overcome starting 40 siphons, 60 siphons, and coming down here um, morning and night for half an hour. Uh, yeah. A day. So by using this this method of the Padman's drop box through the bank, you've uh, how many siphons do you think you've eliminated by doing that, Rob? Uh, well, in this particular case, I'm only doing 40 uh, 40 beds here. So previously, I would have had 60 siphons going. Yep. In 12 hours, this is now going 40, equivalent to 40 siphons going through seven to eight hours. Yep. So, so um, I've I've got rid of about 4,000, maybe 5,000 siphons. So uh, I I sleep all night. Uh, I get up early about 6 6:30, hour and a half run in the morning. I then at night time go around about 5:30 6 o'clock. For another about an hour at night time it takes me because I do all my major setups in the morning. Uh, the only time I, I have to uh, change that is if I have a, a panic change where I haven't got automation. Yeah. Uh, if I've got automation, I can set a timer in the channel, and uh, but I have still got channels which I haven't got automation on, which will be converted over the next two years. Yeah. So not only have you. Perhaps, you know, made life a bit easier for oh and s reasons with not having a full siphons and, and uh, you've got yourself a manual winch here and some portable timers. Is there any benefits in, well, in well, what I'm, you've found there? I'm, I'm running a fairly large property of you know, somewhere near 1,500 hectares. 600 hectares of that, of that area is irrigation in the summertime. And I'm still getting six to seven hours a day of work sitting in a tractor or whatever I'm doing, not worrying about uh, having to come back here. Um, let's say uh, I set this up at two o'clock in the afternoon. I can then spend the afternoon water skiing, come back here next morning at uh, seven o'clock tomorrow morning and everything's done for me. You know? yeah. if got, the biggest thing I've got to do is make sure the recycle pump's got enough fuel in it. Yep, so there's a real benefit in, in just literally set and forget and then you can worry about other jobs you need to do on the farm. Exactly, uh, set, not forget, yeah. uh, but set and, and my productivity on the farm has increased since I've gone from uh, being exhausted starting siphons and having two hours siesta at lunchtime yeah. and then getting up uh, midnight, two o'clock in the morning and, and changing siphons again because yeah. uh, every paddy's different. You can't have uh, 12 hour siphons everywhere. You can have to have six hours, eight hours somewhere, depending on the layout. But I've slept this year every night. I can go away overnight and come back next morning and I've had maybe six or seven changes in that time. Yeah, so you've got good confidence in the timers. Huge amount of confidence. Pretty simple to use. Do your children use them, Rob, or anyone uh, else that you employ use them? My or? my uh, my daughter, who's who's 16, she can she can come out here and set these up. Uh, getting her to do it's another thing, <laughs> as all 16 year old daughters have got a mind of their own. <laughs> but uh, um, well, that's good. So relatively simple then. It is. If we talk about the outlet itself, the drop box, 
Um, what are the benefits you found with the, the style and design of product? And um, well, well, what I was what looking for, is? what I was looking for in the Dropbox or in, in before I went to this this method was, I need to have my pontoon area. After I finish watering, it needs to dry out. And if I've got water going past to another paddock, I've got no way of controlling that. Now, siphons will do that for you, but you've got a, uh, a rotor buck area which you have to knock down to, to do any passes, then you've got to put them back up again. Yep. With a, a drop box, I, I do the um, pontoon area at the beginning of the season. Yep. I do not touch that during the season. And in between waters, uh, in, in the springtime, it'll dry out. Yeah. It, it, it dries out every time. Um, what, so what? You'd, you'd say the, the 100% rubber doors, are, the, you, there's a lot of value in that, Rob? There's a huge amount of value on it. If yeah. you've got water going past, uh, which I have on, on many paddocks, that, that, that area stays dry. And yeah. because there's, there's uh, side dressing, there's cultivation in the, when the plant's young, and all that ha can be done with yeah. a, a fully sealed product. Very good, and uh, any major erosion problems or any trouble there? Um, the outlets? Th there's always going to be a little bit of erosion. Water is a funny thing, it'll, it'll circulate and twirl some places, but uh, these, this area here, these tops were put in in September, then there's a lot of, com lot of um, sinkage here, and we've kind of gone through and fixed them up there yep. back in November. As any new product, but this this will be right for now for years. Yep. Um, all I got to do here is just make sure the pontoons uh, are kept clean at the beginning of the season. Yep, so a little bit of maintenance on the pontoons at the start of the season. Very little maintenance compared to having a rotor buck. Yep. Um, I would in in this 40 hectare field, I'd I'd uh, it wouldn't take me two hours to, to maintain the top and bottom. Um, the drain at the bottom and the pontoon at the top. Thanks, Rob, and. Uh... If you had to summarise, what do you think the three main benefits of this uh, padman through the bank structure and the automation would be? Uh, firstly is I sleep at night. Um, yep. I Very rarely do I get out of bed during the night. Secondly, I, my time, uh, I am productive during the day. I, am, uh, I do a day's work. It might only be six or seven hours a day, but it's uh, that time with siphons I wasn't getting that before. Yep. And and thirdly, I believe with a fast watering, I've improved my yields uh, made by maybe by twenty percent. Uh, and improving the yields, my bottom line's improved. So um, I've gone from somewhere near the twelve ton to 14, 14 and a half ton last year average. So to me, that's a big benefit. And, and maybe for people that were thinking of going on to a, a system like this, Rob, what advice would you have for them? Uh, first, first of all, talk to, talk to somebody who knows about irrigation, talk to an engineer in, in the water, and, yeah. and don't be afraid. Um, you're going to have a couple of stuff-ups, but you learn from them, and for once you get it mastered, this is a brilliant system. Yeah. It gets you down the paddock to make sure uh, to turn it on, to, to, to get it going. It's still got some involvement. You have to see what the what, what the water is doing on the farm. Yeah. And link this with a chatterbox uh, yep. for the first watering or the first bay to get your timing right, and it's fantastic. Very good. Well, thanks very much, Rob. Thanks for your time. Thank you very Cheers. much, Sean, for a great product. No worries.